So we're going to do a guided meditation here. I'm going to start with a practice that I developed for myself about 20 or 25 years ago called I Am Not. And I started this because I was on a two-month meditation retreat doing deep Theravadan practices. And I found that there were all these different ways that um, I would identify. So, for example, the first is I am not this appearance. So I would find that by having and knowing about an appearance, that that was a way I was snagged on a sense of I. So I came up with this practice to loosen, to relax these different markers of me before we meditate and open to journeying into the absolute. So keep your mics on mute and just repeat after me. I am not this appearance. I am not this body. I am not these thoughts. I am not this life history. I am not these behaviors. I am not these emotions. I am not these memories. I am not this identity. I am not anything. So settle yourself into your meditation posture, starting with some deep belly breaths, filling your lungs, abdomen, all the way down to your genitals, and then releasing as much of that air as you can. Let yourself take the meditation seat fully. Feel your contact with the floor, the support and safety of the building you're in, holding and protecting you in this moment. If you can sense Mother Earth beneath, feel her holding, her offering of nourishment, of life, of this very breath, right now. In meditation, we want to try and relax as much optional tension or stress in the body as we can. So if you happen to notice a slight tightening or a little contraction. Just have the intention to relax just a little and see if that can open for you. Some tension or stress is not optional, and we can't affect or change that with our intention. Let's include in our practice today the people in your life that you deeply care about. Let's invite them in to this meditation. Let's include those who deeply care about us. Include those you love in your life. And welcome those who love you into our practice today. We never practice exclusively for ourselves. We're always practicing for all beings. 
Bring your awareness to the belly. We're looking to make contact with what we call the hara in the Zen tradition. It's about two finger widths below the navel and two or three finger widths in from the surface of the skin. It's one of the chakras in the chakra system. It's a natural seat, a grounding in our consciousness. See if you can find that grounded seat and let yourself take it in this moment. Feel that solidity, the seatedness, the here-ness of being in the hara. On the next in-breath, invite awareness into the heart area. We're opening to the love of the absolute. This love can show is what I call innate goodness, which is a light buoyancy, a warm flow of acceptance. We may contact the deep tenderness and holding of compassion, karuna, or the acceptance of the truth of this moment of equanimity or a pekka. Whatever is here for you is just right. So rest awareness in your heart area, just breathing in, relaxing, letting go of the need to do anything. But just let yourself be drawn in this meditation. You don't need to see what I see or feel what I feel, but notice if you can sense what I'm describing in our field. On the next in-breath, invite awareness to the center of the forehead. This is another chakra as is the heart and hara of the yogic tradition. It's called the wisdom eye in Theravada Buddhism and the dharma eye in the Zen tradition. You may feel a slight pressure in the middle of your forehead or some energy movement or perhaps nothing at all. Any of these is just fine. The wisdom eye helps us develop inner sight. It helps cultivate intuitive knowing. So just breathe into the wisdom eye. Relaxing, putting down any doing, and just be here right now. On the next in-breath, invite awareness to the top of your head, the crown chakra in the chakra system, the portal 
for journeying to other realms and other universes. Notice if you can breathe in and out through the crown chakra. There might be a sense of pressure or some type of energy phenomenon. Or maybe nothing at all. Any of these is just fine. Those of you with inner sight may be noticing the rich blackness in our field, the blackest black you've ever seen. Vast, expansive in every direction. A rich, luminous, Blackness. Let yourself begin to relax into this blackness, feeling the quality of absence, of no thingness, of emptiness, absence. Let yourself relax into the absence, letting your awareness reach in every direction, sensing, feeling for any edges or boundary, finding there are none. Let yourself, your awareness, move a little deeper into this rich, luminous blackness, making contact with this beautiful peacefulness, smooth, accepting peacefulness. Whatever makes contact with this peacefulness becomes peaceful. Relax into the peacefulness, surrendering any sense or desire for control. Let yourself be drawn more deeply into peacefulness. Notice the profound stillness. Sense into the stillness. Feel its expanse. How it receives and welcomes all sound. Notice if you can feel my words arise from stillness and return to stillness. Let yourself relax a little more, surrendering to the absence, 
to the luminous blackness, to the rich peacefulness and that profound stillness. Let yourself be carried more deeply into the rich silence, the stillness, the peacefulness that welcomes everything. We'll sit silently for about 20 minutes and then I'll ring the bell. You find your awareness has wandered, gently return it to the deep luminous blackness without self judgment or any criticism.
Thank you. 